Hello guys, welcome back. I hope you are doing great. Creating AI applications using different large language models is great, right? But it might be challenging to get the analytics or to get the insights out of the open AI API uses, right? Let's say that you are creating an application using open AI API key and you want to keep track where all the expenses are occurring from. In this video, first I will explain you or I will show you how the uses in the OpenAI website works and how you can keep track of different things. But you cannot visually see what is happening behind it. So after that, I will show you a cool website that pulls data straight from the OpenAI uses API and creates cool dashboards out of it. Let's get started. I am now on the OpenAI's website where you can create the API keys. The link is provided in the description of this video. Let's say that you want you have some API keys, right? And you want to see the uses and also the rate limits. I will not go through all the different things in the menu here, but if you don't have the account already, you need to create one account. And let's go to the rate limits first. Here you can actually see what are the different rate limits provided by OpenAI. So OpenAI enforces rate limits on the request you can make to the API. These are applied over tokens per minute, request per minute in some cases request per day or in the case of image models it is images per minute. If you want to know more, you can just go through this documentation. You can just go through this page and see what are the different limits. But now let's go to the uses. That is the thing that we are going to explore in this video, right? As you can see here in July, I haven't used that much of OpenAI API. But if I want to go to maybe June, I have used some of them, right? So how you can visualize is daily. This is how it is shown here and you can even go to this cumulative and it will show you in a nice diagram or chart whatever you want to call it and then you can just hover on top of it and it will show you the cost accord in each day right and you just this month i have just used like 65 cents out of 10 out of 10 meaning that i have kept my hard limit as us dollar 10 per month you can just uh, increase or decrease as you want and I highly recommend you to uh, use this limit and for this where you need to go is go to this billing section and use its limits here. The maximum AUJs OpenAI allows you for your organization each month is $120 for me and current usage is here and I have kept the hard limit $10 and the soft limit is $3. Always remember to keep this limit otherwise yeah your your bill might be quite high now let's get back to the users part and one thing here is we can even do the daily breakdown right let's go and see here i don't have i think many in this other different things but here is the 17 july right so if i go to 17 july there was uh, 23 cent right of the uses and i can see like where does that cost come from right so here i have done 14 requests and if i go down you can see that I'm using GPT 3.5 Turbo 0613 to request and how many tokens is also provided here. This is really good that it is providing all this different information, right? So you can even go to other days like this. There is no uses. Just to see instead of going through here, how what I recommend you to do is go to month. And from here, let's say that I want to go to 2nd of June, right? So I can just go here and then go to 2nd of June as you can see here there is 26 request and the time stamp is also being provided there are seven requests and I can see okay what are the different things right the prompt is itself 22,240 uh, plus zero completion and there is 22,240 tokens right so yeah all the different things are being provided here and there is the request uh, 19 request at time 8 p.m. right this is really good but here we just have this simple looking diagram and not good looking dashboards right so next i will show you a cool website which takes the data directly from openai's uses api 
and create a cool dashboard out of it. Okay, this is the website that I was talking about, llm.report, right? A better way to monitor your open AI API usage. What you need to do here, you just enter your open AI API key and they will fetch your data from the open AI API directly to create a dashboard. No need to install anything, right? This is how the dashboard looks like. And if you scroll just down here, everything is here. You stop guessing your cost per API key. And there are all the different people have mentioned, okay, how they have used it and is it friend, user friendly or not, right? What we can do first is click this get started for free. If you click this one, you need to log in first. You can either log in via GitHub or you can continue with Google. Let's go and continue with Google and I will use my email and I will log in here. So once I log in, this is what it is being provided. Before there was just a place to provide the API key and we were good to go. But now as you can see here, there is this message being provided, open AI API changes, right? So open AI introduced a new change to their API this morning, meaning that July 20, they no longer allow third party apps to assess their API usage in point which we use to display the dashboard, right? So we have introduced a new work around to get around this issue. It requires you to enter your session token from the OpenAI website. So before when I was using it, I was able to do it just by providing the API key. But now as they have mentioned here, we need to do some work around in order to view the dashboards, right? For that, what we need to do is go to this particular website that we just went before, right? Okay, now we need to go to this particular website. So we can just right click and open this in new tab and open Chrome network request tab, right? In the Mac, you can type command option I. I am on Mac, so I will be going and typing command option and I. So if you can see here, now it opens this particular page. So there is this network. So what you need to do is, let me make this little bit bigger. Yeah, so if you go to the uses section here, let me go to the rate limit and again to the uses. So you can see uses section here, right? So if you go to this uses icon, then there is this request URL. This was a little bit confusing what to do, but here it says find the get request with the following URL and you need to copy session token, right? And then you need to paste it here, right? So what I can do now is go here and in, in the network section, there is this uses place, right? So you just go to this place here and there is this request URL and there is API openai.com dashboard billing uses, right? And what you need to do is if you scroll a little bit down, there is this, if you scroll a little bit down in the authorization, as it is mentioned here, copy the session token from the authorization, right? So if you go here, there is authorization and you need to copy this part, not the bearer part, but the remaining part. So I can do control C to copy. And if you go back to this page and here you can just paste it, control V. And now, as you can see here, once we paste that, it says that, okay, open AI analytics, it's live, right? Once this is live, what you can do is now it is taking some time Be before it was quite fast, but now it says that if you hover on top of this, it says open AI API has a rate limit of five requests per minute. We will fetch and cache your data. Feel free to leave this page and come back later, right? It is going to take some time. As you can see, there is just four. I will come back to you once this is completed. It took some time to create the report, but as you can see here now, it is quite good compared to the ones that we just saw on the OpenAI's website, right? So this was kind of similar, but here we even have the minute, right? At what time it is. And the good part here is, yeah, from here in the drop down there is this good interface, how or how long you want to have the OpenAI API uses, right? And there is the month to date and eight selected, meaning that you can select what kind of models you want, right? So there is GPT-4, uh, fine-tuned models, embedding models, image models, or all the different things. Let me see that I just want to, let's say that you want to just have the models without the image one. You can just click this 
and there is the ones without the image but for now let me just select seven of those for now now it says here cost and request there is zero right context tokens zero two days so far and two days so far right so if you go down here it says from july 1 to july 26 so there is 23 cents of cost and you can visualize from the minutes you can go with the day or you can even go with the uh, cumulative ones right so the good part here is now instead of open ai's now if you hover on top of it it will show you from which models the cost is associated with right here is you see that there is gpt4 is for me gpt4 has 22 cents and chat models have 0 0.01 right there is this legend being provided and from here you can see which one is which right so this is one thing and now if we go a little bit down here is more visual things right so 2.27 percent of the hard limit of ten dollar right i have the ten dollar limit and here as we saw before also there is this request and 14 total requests made in this time frame and you see here that from GPT 3.5 Turbo, there were seven requests. GPT 40613, there were seven requests. And the tokens is also, there is 8,912. And there is this total. From this particular model, we have this. And from this particular model, we have this much amount. Okay, that's all for this video. First, we went through the OpenAI's website's API uses. And then we went through the LLM report. For me, I think this website provides a really good breakdown of the OpenAI API uses compared to what OpenAI is providing. I hope you find it helpful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.